All right, iPhone 11 and iPhone 12. Um, so when I'm making this video, iPhone 12 just came out. Now, ironically, uh, this is an iPhone 10. I can't show you my iPhone 11. You know why? Because I'm using it right now to shoot this video. All right, that's how amazing it is. Okay, but I just wanted to talk about um, iPhone 11 and iPhone 12, and really, when iPhone 11 came out, that's really when I saw that these DSLRs days were numbered. Um, iPhone 11 was the first iPhone that had the lens selection. It's got three lenses. It's got an ultra wide, a mid range, and a telephoto. And that was really the first smartphone that really got me excited. And that was what allowed me to make the jump to using smartphones all the time for everything. Um, and that's what, it, and it was also just really exciting because I knew, you know, once the smartphones cross that barrier, you know, they're only going to get better. They're not going to go backwards. So that was really the DSLR killer in my opinion. Um, but if you don't, if, you, if you're an iPhone user and, and you haven't upgraded, I, I really would recommend getting one because it, it's the first, because of the three different focal lengths, I do a whole video about focal lengths and understanding why that's such a big deal. Um, we've never had that kind of range, being able to go from ultra wide to mid range to telephoto, all using the same camera. Like to do that with this, I would have to change lenses. You know, and I hate changing lenses. I don't like doing that. Um, so, like the fact that iPhone put that in there, and and you know they're only going to improve it. I mean, there's three there's three lenses on it now. There's three different focal lengths. There's probably going to be five sooner or later. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they put like a um, like a super telephoto, maybe maybe a fisheye. Who knows? Um, maybe a um, I could see five really easily, you know, ultra wide going all the way to like, you know, super telephoto, something like that. Um, but anyways, um, there really is a smartphone revolution going on and it really started with what iPhone did with the iPhone 11 and now the iPhone 12. Uh, also the low light capabilities on the iPhone 11 and 12 I mean, night mode is incredible. Like they're defying all laws of photography. It's it's just so exciting. Like we thought the laws of photography were written, and now you know these smartphone manufacturers are are proving that you know there's way more capabilities out there that we haven't even touched yet. And that's that's why I'm such a big supporter of using st shoot with your phone. You know, get your clients used to that. Build a business around shooting with your phone. If you build a business around shooting with your phone, you're going to make a lot of money because you're not limited by by gear. You know, it's not... It, the fact that this looks cooler, in your opinion, I mean, that's it, totally irrelevant to how much money you make. That's something that a lot of people just don't understand. Like, they, they feel like this is why people pay you, but it's not they pay you because of the service you provide. And you know, 95% of the time, they're not paying you for how good the photos are. They're paying you just to, to handle it. You know, they need something for social media. They just need it done, okay? And smartphone allows you to get it done a lot easier and faster, and you can offer it at, at lower prices, you know, which is always good, you know, and, and, you, and you can justify it because it's not, it's not gonna take you as much time. Um, so, yeah, iPhone 11, look into that and don't be afraid to shoot with your smartphone all the time for everything. I do. I make over half a million dollars a year personally, not even including FireVibe, doing photo shoots with a phone. All right. I never could have done that with this. I wouldn't have been able to handle the workflow, would, wouldn't be fast enough. The phone is what allows me to 10x what I used to make. So...